Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial. Just imagine you have just started with Game Maker Studio and then you go into your resources and then you say, all right, let's create an object. And then you see that thing. Okay, uh, that looks a little bit overwhelming at start. Then you just, okay, add event and then bam. And a lot of options and you feel absolutely overwhelmed. But I can assure you that most of the stuff you won't be using anyway or some of them which uh, you will be using just very very specific purposes so this will be a well, two-parter so the first one just with the very very basic stuff which you need 90 percent 99 of the time and well i'm going to show you that right now this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. And if you can, ring that bell because YouTube loves that stupid bell. And then, for example, if you really, really want to help the channel, which I really like, by the way, and YouTube as well, share my stuff because that gives the biggest boost. So let's get right into the meat of it. So what we're seeing here is basically just an empty object. What can you do here? Not a lot. Basically, just I don't know, give it a sprite, and then, well, we have those events, and this is where all the magic is happening. Here, the most important one which you need is the create event, and here, just a little trick. For example, it says insert description here. We say stuff because stuff is happening here, so you can actually label a few of that stuff, that thing, but well, you don't need it. And then what do we need else? A step event. And then maybe, and this is just maybe, a draw event. And then we are pretty much finished. And because most of this time, what, do, what you do, you just have some objects with, I don't know, move around, do something, can be picked up, um, show some stuff, control some stuff. Most of the time you have the create event, which is just being started once, then it does its thing. It kind of says, okay, I need these variables and these data structures and so on. And then once it's been created once, you never use it again because you've set up some stuff which you are using in this object. And then this type event is basically, as you can see, those feed all the time running. And then it's just updating and updating those values which you are having here on other objects because you can reach from one object to the other one and so on. So here, well, is the updating part, so updating, update, here we go, and then the draw, but well, it's drawing stuff, so yeah, I don't know, if you want to draw some stuff, um, this could be, I don't know, the apple itself, or you can draw um, um, GUI, which is happening in a specific draw event, which is draw GUI, so here, you just say, okay, I want to draw things on the screen. But a lot of times you don't need that, bam, bam. And here we go. Those two things are the most important ones. And they are a lot of things which you you, you think you're using. For example, like, like your parents and physics and all that stuff. Forget about that. Because most of the time, these two guys are the best friends. And the other stuff, well, you don't need. For example, here, create step GUI. What is the tree doing? Create step, bam, nothing. As you can see, this is what you need to know. Those two guys are the best friends. And here, just so you understand what that stuff is, um, here you have your sprite and you can assign it, but you don't have to. For example, you can leave it blank if you like, say none, bam. That could be, for example, a controller object or, for example, a thing which is running around or a thing you can pick up. And then we have a collision mask. I'm not gonna go into that because that is not being used all the time. Then visible, of course, you want to put it, for example, into your room, but make it, let's say, invisible so nobody can well, see it. Possible, but most of the time, let it stay visible and persistent, which is the most important part. This guy is great for controllers because this is how Game Maker Studio does it. For example, you're having this level, and for example, once you leave this level, which is just called room in Game Maker Studio, bam. If you go from one to the, this is the second one, 
so if you're just leaving everything is gonna get destroyed and recreated but for example if you want to well, have things which are being passed into the other level let's say like your score or your health or whatever then you need things which are persistent but if, if you don't need it well you take it away so this is a thing which is kind of important and then we are pretty much done with it this is what you need to know if, if you're an absolute beginner and you need to know what these things are um, in the second video I will show you what the other things are well doing because this is a little bit more technical but it, and has some applications but it's quite narrow so that was it for now have a good one one up indie